Look at us. Hey, zoom in. Get my face. Get my face. <laughs> Get my face. Yeah, right there. Right there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> VidCon 2016. Nice. You made a mistake by bringing me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's up, guys? How, How are you guys today? doing? How's it going? Uh, uh, I look like I'm digging in my pants. Sorry, I was getting my vlog camera. Um, All right. Sweet. So we're here. We're yeah, we're talking about our awesome meeting. moderators on the way. Yeah. <laughs> or that parking life, man. Or they're invisible oh, and oh. we're missing out yeah. on some awesome news right now. They're, uh, they're uploading right now. They're processing. <laughs> <laughs> with the internet. 95%. They'll be here all day. Um, cool. I mean, yeah, thanks I mean for we, coming can do like, we can do like crowd questions quick yeah, or something. Yeah. Or crowd yeah, interaction. Time. Yeah. Or crowd work. Who well, likes already, video games? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We already got a hand up. I do too. I do too. Video games are cool. But let's. The first video game that you really hold close to your heart you, when it got you. For, for me, it was as simple as uh, Super Mario Brothers on the NES. Uh, I was really young when I played that. Um, I mean, I was born in 1990, it was the same year the Super Nintendo came out, but my older brother played NES, and so he in introduced me to that. But I think the one that I first <laughs> realized I loved game. Oh, our, our moderator is hey, here. Hey, How's it going? Hello, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> he, he just hey, made it. I know. <laughs> it was fashionably hey. late. It was anarchy for you guys. <laughs> Continue. I, I don't want to cut you, cut you <laughs> off. Super I'm, Mario 64, though, was the, the first game where I was just like, I love this, and I want more of it. And uh, that was kind of the one that first hit me, because I think I was old enough to appreciate it. Whereas I, when I played NES and SNES, I was just like hitting buttons and doing whatever. I was pretty young, so. That's cool, that's cool, nice. that's cool. Uh, Mario was a big one for me, of course, having the NES, but I, I used to play like the old school arcade games, so I was into Pac-Man and stuff like that. It's Pac-Man and, and Pac-Man. But the one that got me, I don't know if this is gonna really date me, but I was a big fan of Qbert. Does anyone remember oh, yeah. Qbert? Yeah. Hey. Qbert was my game. Thing. It was just interesting because you know most uh, controls were always up, down, left, right, except for like centipede and stuff where it was a, a trackball. But Qbert was diagonal, and I loved that he bounced around. I loved that you get all those flying discs and get to the top, try to avoid uh, Coily and uh, <laughs> Ugg in wrong way, you know, and get the green ball. And then if he, he got hit, he cursed. He really he went like, yeah. and it had like little symbols. Those were so, curses. Those were I love were yeah. expressions. I love <laughs> Cuber, and I loved him in Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, yeah. And I saw him in Pixels. That's cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he was the one that peed, that peed himself. Yeah, right? yeah. I watched your video on that. It was yeah. great. The question was like, wait, what, which game we which, hold which, near which and dear game, to our yeah, hearts? The first one that got, that got to you. Oh. It made you the gamer you are today. Made? Oh, wait, that's different. <laughs> made me the gamer or just made me, like, passionate? Or... Yeah, it was like... All right, my two up. top games are uh, Halo and Smash Bros. Those are, like, my favorites. <laughs> like, like, I, like, tear up when I hear the Smash Bros. intro. Like, I, I can't help it. There's so many, so many rounds of Smash Brothers where I was just, like, giving out epic hands, where I just, like, remember that. And if you hear that, oh! I'm like, oh no, don't do that to me. And Halo's the other one because I think, I just like the franchise and I really was competitive about it when I was like back in high school. I would literally like go, like when Halo 2 came out, I remember well, that's when like online was kind of popular with Xbox, uh, the original, uh, the original Xbox One. Oh, the true one. <laughs> uh, and I remember being like 15 or 16 and playing and it was like, I would, like when the game came out, I remember I had like, I had like basketball practice and like it's and I'm sitting back like coach you don't even play me I don't need to be here right now like let me <laughs> let me go and then I would go home play it till like 6 a.m. the next morning and then I have to get up for school at 8 and then go back to school and then it would just like be repeat and uh, I remember when they made Halo the announcement for Halo 4 I started crying because I was like I didn't think you were gonna come back chief I didn't know <laughs> I was I was genuinely sad I was like what is wrong with you you're so old stop it okay, you're in the therapist chair yeah like, I was literally there talking to master chief he was my therapist I was like yeah man like, you yeah. know I love you and I don't know how to talk about it so nothing no. nothing the entire <laughs> well these shorts came back then Kingdom Hearts 3 people are still waiting hey 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 <laughs> hey Sora's coming back baby one day hopefully one day hopefully 2018 <laughs> I don't know when that game's coming back out I don't know Elsa just standing by like come on <laughs> where's Riku <laughs> Kyrie <laughs> that has one of the best theme songs ever though the uh when you walk away do, do, do me say please oh baby don't go that's my oh my god see let's not talk about 
Let's not talk about video games, guys. I'm gonna get passionate. It's bad. I'm terrible. Should we, should should we, like a new we, we should start. We, we got like 50 minutes. No, I mean we can. I can step off. The stage will be yours. Oh, that's my song, though. <laughs> I like it. Like uh, well, I'm Jamin, uh, founder of Kill Screen, video game arts and culture company. <laughs> the late moderator, as you know, I did the late, like last minute, kind of like slide in. So. I guess we're here to talk about retro games. Yes. Um, you guys were talking about some of the things that inspired you when you were young. I mean, for me, it was like the original, probably the original Killer Instinct in arcade. Oh, that was the wow. one that like made retro games sort of a real thing for me. But for you guys, I, I wanted to know, what are your thoughts on like why, you know, retro games were just old games and now they're their own thing, but also still a place that people return to on a regular basis. You know, I feel like old games, unlike maybe like old mu movies or old music, like people keep coming back to the same, you know, series and games over and over. So why do you think retro games continue to be so popular over time? I, I think the obvious answer, and this isn't the whole thing, but I mean, nostalgia, and people just want to relive those amazing experiences they had as a kid. But I, I think it's much deeper than that, though, and I think that that's something we could delve in. I don't really even know the answer to that question, but I think a lot of it has to do with nostalgia. For what me, about, but what about for you, like personally? Is there a reason like why retro games like speak to you, you know, personally? <clears throat> it, it, I don't know. Maybe this makes me sound like a grandpa. I'm like, <laughs> not that old, but I already sound like a grandpa. But it just it feels like they don't make games the way they used to, and I mean that's kind of a vague thing to say, but you know, it, they they put especially like big AAA games. They put so much money into them, uh, and it just Sometimes you just want a simpler game, and I think that's when a lot of indie games kind of step in. I mean, I, I don't know if any of you guys play Stardew Valley by any chance? Any Stardew Valley? I love that game. Yeah. And e even like the people who make, I'm a big Harvest Moon guy, and so even the people that uh, made Harvest Moon, of course now it's a really complicated story, it's not really Natsume anymore, they kind of split up, but uh, they just, even those games, they kind of like stepped away from what I liked about Harvest Moon. So then that kind of oh, does, fortunately opens up the door for people like Indians to come in, and Stardew Valley comes out. And, and I think it, it's cool to see how popular these games are when they come out. Like, Stardew Valley sold like crazy on Steam. Yeah. And it, I think it just goes to show that, you know, there is an audience for this, and they've kind of been neglected for a while. How about for you guys? Why do you think like, retro games like, continue to be? Um, I think, like, with the gameplay of, of, of a retro game, if the gameplay is solid, it really doesn't matter what era it comes from. Like, when you watch an old movie from like, the 70s or 80s, you can be like, well, that was really good for the movie at its time, you know, maybe the technology or, or whatever. But right. if a game is solid, even if the graphics are, are, are less than what they are today, you still enjoy it. I mean, like, uh, a lot of people I know played Crossy Road, and I'm like, well, that's cool, that's Frogger. <laughs> so, but it's like a similar gameplay style, but because it's something that you can pick up and enjoy. And um, sometimes it's also those, those classic games, and we're also seeing it a lot with mobile games and, and indie titles. You learn a couple of quick things and you can jump right into it. I mean, like some people have the time or some people enjoy a 40, 50 hour game where you got to go through a two hour tutorial before you even really get into the game. But, uh, but some people just like, they want something fun, fast, they can enjoy, they can easily pick up and, and just kind of play through either casually or just, you know, if they're killing time. And a lot of those retro games can do that, like yeah. the older school arcade games. Or you just kind of just enjoy the gameplay of it, so you can play a game from the '80s, and it's still fun because the gameplay is so solid on it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I feel like the answer to this question is that there's no more ideas. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same. It's the same with movies. Why are old school games the best? Because nobody can come up with a good idea anymore. Because <laughs> like, if you think about it. All the best games, well, not, not all the best games, but I'm just saying, like, people go back to retro games, obviously, for nostalgia, and it's also a thing of, like, those were, like, you know, obviously it's in its infancy when all that stuff happens, so those are kind of some of the most creative things that have ever come to be, and that's why we're getting Resident Evil, like, 7, you know? Like, <laughs> you know, you don't, you, don't, you don't mess up what's already, you know, already working, so, I don't know. Sometimes they do. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, no, you can mess it up, but... <laughs> Hopefully you don't, you know? Yeah. You just, sometimes you stop. You don't make like a Crash Bandicoot racing game. You just stop it. You just, <laughs> you don't do that, you know? You don't make Sonic Riders or whatever. You just relax. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I feel like that's, you know, it's one of those things where it's like nostalgia. They're fun. They're easy to play. You can get into it without having to learn like how to set it up or put all the like cameras up or whatever if it's a yeah. VR game or something. Yeah. I don't that, know. I think like uh, Andre said, the ease of entry is yeah. really a yeah. positive. You just 
Sometimes yeah. it's like you try to play a new game, and it's like, well, how long is it going to take me to figure this out when I play it? And you, right. An old game, you can kind of just jump in. And how many, how many, how many times will motion controls bewilder me? Yeah. You know. What are the microtransactions for Miss Pac-Man? <laughs> <laughs> how many, how many, how many, how many pack openings does yeah. this game need to get me hyped? You know. Yeah. But that's an interesting point about there not being any more idea, because it does feel like that sometimes, right? Where like there was this period in the early history of games where like everything was so brand new, and we take that for granted, right? Like there, the platformer, someone had to invent that as a as a as a thing, right? The idea that the screen would sort of move from left to right as opposed to like in Space Invaders or something like that, where you just had the one screen. And and not only uh, is it not the idea, but then like you also can't play around with it. Like it's right. it's funny how. They've tried to do all these different things with Mario over the past few years, and still the best-selling titles are the ones where he's just straight going left to right, like New yeah. Mario Brothers Wii and, and uh, New Super Mario Bros. U. Yeah. Still completely outsold Galaxy, completely outsold uh, 3D yeah. World. Which is a shame, if you ask me. But. Yeah, I mean, those are great games, but still people want, still feel comfortable with that classic style, right. uh, so, which is really interesting. And now it's time to make the consumer work for us. You make all the levels in Mario Maker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not making any. We're done. <laughs> I'm not doing any work. Yeah. Nintendo. Nintendo's in the office. It's like they got mad. It's like, we got Mario in 3D, we got them flying. I just want to go left to right. You know what? Fine. You make right? it. <laughs> the heads of Nintendo are just in their office with the cigar, like, <laughs> they're getting it. Yeah. <laughs> We're becoming stronger. <laughs> Good job, like a... Miyamoto. You are a genius. <laughs> like, <laughs> they send you like a blank box and like yeah. crayons. Like, no, no, do, do your own. <laughs> They've got minions thing. in there like, sir, please, <laughs> my yeah. thumbs, my thumbs. <laughs> I can't make any more levels. The like, thwomps. So the, do, you think, do you think, whose fault is that, right? Is it just creators not coming up with new ideas? Or do you think some of the, the burden is on us, right? That we like things that are, you see this in the movie industry, right? Like, you know kind of what you're gonna get with a new Avengers movie or whatever it might be, a new Marvel franchise. Do you think some of the burden lies with us to, to challenge creators as well to make Yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely our fault for complaining so much about, <laughs> about everything. Oh no, I mean, we complain like, we don't even say thank you. Like, we get stuff and we're like, <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah. I guess that's good. Is it? This is my birthday gift. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I feel like. I mean, I feel like it's fifty-fifty. You know. Yeah. It's it's the people who don't want to check the source material because they want to create something new, which they're entitled to, and then it's also the viewer who or the user who's getting some sort of product that they're uncomfortable with because it's different from what they're used to. Right. 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 I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, you brought up uh, nostalgia. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about like why you think that drives people to play games. Like, what I guess what is that sensibility? Because one of the interesting things about games is like you're starting to have parents play with kids, and like we're actually moving through cycles where you have you know people growing up who aren't familiar with the first iteration of whatever game that's out there. And but nostalgia still seems to be something that drives people. Why why do you think that is? I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just. Nostalgia in and of itself is the reason, I guess. I mean, people want, it doesn't matter what you're talking about, people want to relive those cool memories that they had as a, as a young, as a young uh, kid. But I don't, I don't even know if it is all nostalgia. Because, I mean, I run my channel, and I know I get a lot of uh, younger members of my audience that I know they weren't playing those games that I was playing when I was a kid, because they weren't even born. <laughs> so, but they still like them. So, I mean, I think there's obviously something else there. And again, I, bring, I would bring out the point that like there's all these new games coming out, like the Kickstarter. What is, what's the name? Of, it's escaping me now that I'm on the stage. What's the name of that new, the new rare, rare, rare game? That's that, well, the people who made all those classic rare games are coming back and making the new. Oh, ukulele. Oh, ukulele. Ukulele. Oh, yeah. 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 And like, like you get these games, and then there's obviously an audience for it. So I don't know. It's 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 kind of a confusing question, but. I think more than anything, there just there there definitely is a demand for it. People really do, are interested in it, and uh, yeah, it, I think a lot of it is nostalgia. But some of it, I, I think it's just they're fun games. You know? Yeah, I mean, people enjoy it. But you got to be careful with nostalgia because <laughs> nostalgia can also cloud your memory about certain games, and you go back and play it again. <laughs> you're like, wait, this isn't fun at all. <laughs> We've gotten better than this. Why am I doing this to myself? And, and, and we see that we've seen that happen with playing old games today. We've seen that happen with trying to make inspirations of old games into new games, yeah. <laughs> right? right? And the reactions right. to that. Yeah. So it, it's it's you got to remember that sometimes the experience of what you were or how, where you were as a child playing these things is part of your memory of it, and not just the game itself. I don't want to like go too off course here, but speaking of, of that topic, are there any games that you guys have gone back and played 
that you remembered enjoying a lot as a kid that you just were like, this, is not, this doesn't live up. trash now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think I, I think uh, I think you forget how much fun certain games were with other people. Yeah. So yeah, when you yeah. play them alone, you sit back and you're like, "Why did I love Streets of Rage so much?" Like you know, <laughs> you're sitting back playing a beat 'em up and you're like, "This is mad repetitive." Like, I don't, don't want to. I don't want to have to fight the knife guy, fight the boss, fight the guy with the crowbar, then come back, fight the boss, fight the knife. Like you're sitting back, like, "Yo, I need friends right now. I can't play yeah. this alone." You know. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what it is. That's how I feel about Battle Toads. Battle Toads? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate I falling that. off the yeah. shit. <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got real angry just now. Oh my God. Me and my friend played that on my gaming channel, and we're sitting back, and it, it was fun, but man, I fell off the level like nine times. I'm like, where's the level design at? You know, I'm yelling at like, I'm yelling at some developer from like 92, like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> oh man. You step your game up. But you know what? We are kind of like the generation, because you're talking about like kids playing with their parents. We're the generation who's going to like, want to own our kids in video games. Like, we're going to be like sitting back like, what's, what's, what's this new game you got, kid? What's this? What's this, son? <laughs> oh, you're playing, oh, you're playing, you're, pi you're, you're playing the new Mario Retro Z? Let me, let me get my hands on that. And then, you know, <laughs> you know, it's like, Dad, no, don't play. Me and my friends are playing. Or like, this is Smash Brothers 10. And you're like, let, let an old school dude let you show yeah. you what it's about. And you're, just, and you're just wrecking your children in video games. <laughs> just no remorse. Your See your face! No, He's like no crying. Remorse. Just, no remorse. You're throwing the controller down like, get good. Come back to me when you're ready to play. <laughs> also, you're grounded. So. Mom, stop! <laughs> Mom, you're stopping. Go. This is my house! Now clean my house. That, I mean, it is, it is a really funny thing if you look back at old yeah. games. Kids, a lot of older game designers, they didn't have anybody to learn from, right? Like they didn't have the internet to be able to inform them Get on what things back. are. Like I'm sure if Battletoads came out now, people are like, yo, I don't. <laughs> oh, but ga game facts? Is that like, I, ooh, if I had that, <laughs> I, I've read so many of uh, uh, Nintendo Power magazines and oh, called yeah. that gameplay counselor line and stuff to try to figure out games. And now it's just like, Oh, here's a whole walkthrough. Oh, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah like um, I, I, I spoke to the guys who made Mist. If you guys remember that, like old old PC puzzle game. You said Mist. Mist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were saying that like you know at the time the puzzles that they had made, they were still trying to figure out what a good puzzle was. They didn't have. There weren't a lot of people making puzzle games at yeah. the time. They couldn't really learn from other people. So yeah. there's a lot of like bad puzzles. There's like a lot of bad design. And, like, but old, that, I feel games. like that's OK, because with bad design and bad puzzles, at least you get some sort of like challenging game. Like games nowadays, they're making them so that like, I mean, it's like you, you don't need to try hard anymore. Like, uh, yeah. what, what's it called came out last week? Uh, Mighty Number no. 9? Yeah. And you know, that's Inaf Inafune, which is like Mega Man, creator of Mega Man. And, uh, I I played it and I played I played the demo from like E3 last year and I have friends who played it who are like yo this game is like trash because it's like mad repetitive way more easy it looks pretty but like it's one of those things where it's like it was crowdfunded with four million dollars it's like right, right. <laughs> why is this the final product man <laughs> you know yeah. like I heard but it looked that's an interesting Mighty Number no. Nine is like a really good example because you have and you're seeing this a lot on Kickstarter we have like older designers who have a game that everybody loves. They raise a bunch of money on the promise because people remember they love this thing that came out 20 years ago. Yeah. The final product came out like all creative things could be good, could be bad. Terrible. Yeah. Or in the case of Mighty Number no. Nine. Don't, don't mess up Shemu Three. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I mean, that, right. So that's going to be another one. Don't mess up Shemu Three. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> that, that game they announced two years ago and haven't talked about since. Which that one? Could that, was last year. That, that was last year. That was last year. Was it that last was last year? Yeah. Oh, that's year? Okay. The, well, they uh, didn't show it this year. Same. Same with uh, Final Fantasy VII. Don't mess it up, <laughs> man. Don't mess. It, don't, just don't mess it up. Like you. You know how to not mess it up. Yeah. Don't mess it up. <laughs> don't do that. You know. There should be a dude in the corner of every room at game developing like offices who like has a belt, who's like the father of the room, just like look, you mess up the game, you're getting a whooping, <laughs> son. Like that. You gotta, like, you're walking out of there. You know, old school parents, I think, will agree with me. Like, a good whooping is set you straight. All right, let me not, let me not say that. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems like, it's, to, to your earlier point, it's like we're stuck. Like, on the one hand, we love the idea of people who made things that we loved when we were yeah. kids coming back to the table, right, coming out of retirement, as it were. But on the other hand, when they deliver something that's lackluster, I feel like we hold them more accountable. We're more disappointed, right, than if you just put out a trash game if you're like, it's your first time. First well, that, that's why I was saying you got to be careful with nostalgia, because that's the thing is like, I think that uh, I, it, I say this about games, this is about movies, about TV shows. 
anytime you reboot something, it's going to be incredibly difficult to get the same level of energy behind it as you did when it happened. Some, some things are just lightning in a bottle, and they happen the way that they right. happened at that time, and you can't replicate certain things. So, yeah, if this was, if this was, if My Name Not was like a $15 game that someone just randomly put out, I think people would have been like, yeah. all right, whatever, it kind of feels like Mega Man's got some flaws, no big deal. But because it was hype from the creator of Mega Man, because it had the Kickstarter, because it had all these commercials yeah. and interesting trailers, it's like, <laughs> so it's like yeah. that's what kind of, all this hype got built to it. So you put it at this level of not only the original Mega Man games, but also your nostalgia of playing them when right. you were younger. It's just putting it at a heightened level that it's just going to be hard to reach. So even a slight disappointment is going to make you feel bad about it. And then when it's really not a good game at all, yeah, then it's yeah, even yeah. worse. Um, maybe a related question. Why do you think it is? I mean, you know, you look in film or in music. I mean, you know, Prince died recently. He's someone who's been making music for you know for decades and decades. Like, why do you think? I feel like in games there aren't as many of those people, right? You've got like Miyamoto. I mean, there's a couple people here and there, but in general. You don't have people who have these careers that last 20 years, right? And are continuing, to, some making some good games, making some bad games. It's like, you do have a lot of people who put out like one big thing, like Mega Man or something like that, and then either it's more Mega Man or whatever it might be. Why do you think that is? Like games don't have the same... Longevity kind of? Yeah, the same kind of... I don't know. You said Prince, and I thought you were like, I was like, Prince got a video game? <laughs> I was like, I was I like, Michael, I, was like I remember Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, I remember Moonwalker by Michael Jackson. <laughs> That game was amazing. And, uh, oh Sonic. my God, it was so good. I don't know why. Y'all don't, none of y'all played that game. I, I mean, I've, maybe I, like six of y'all have played it. I, who were born I, I, in like the late people. 80s, early 90s. You get to flip that, flip that then, coin in the jukebox. And there was a, I'm, I'm getting off subject. There was a Michael Jackson four player beat em up that was in arcades where you transformed into the robot Michael yeah, Jackson. Yeah. Ooh, and there was a red one, a gold one, and a white. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. that was an amazing game. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't that know. Was you, you know why? Because people are trying to hold on to gimmicks nowadays. It's like, you know, uh, not necessarily gimmicks, but like, it's kind of like how YouTube is like, you know, people, longevity on YouTube is not, yeah. is not promised for everyone. You yeah. have to keep up with the times. Like, I started doing sketch comedy on YouTube and like, that just didn't pan out. I still do it for like fun and passion, but Gaming videos randomly popped up, and I was like, "Oh, well, I guess I'm a gaming YouTuber now." So, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's one of those things, and I think it's up to the studio, like it's up or or the company. Like you know, Nintendo stays pretty consistent to like you know, this is what we give you, deal with it. <laughs> either like our either like our games or don't. Like we're gonna make money anyway. And then you know they try to hop into different stuff where it's like, okay, we're now introducing a controller that floats. Like we're doing new stuff. I don't know. Um, <laughs> And then, you know, and some, some companies just know, like, they just stick with their guns and make the same thing, like, uh, like Metal Gear or something. You know, it's like we're making, like, Solid Snake is here to do the same stuff he did in the last game, but it's a different story. So yeah. I, think, yeah. I think it's just one of those things with staying consistent and allowing your game longevity to stay with the crowd. Like, as long as you know there's an, an audience for it and they're still along the ride, like, if you want to keep bringing the game with them, I think that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Kojima, I think, is going to be a really interesting case yeah. to see what he does yeah. after Metal Gear. I think this is kind of like his opportunity to demonstrate that he can make things outside of that, yeah. that particular universe. Um, I wanted to ask you guys about, like, remasters. And, I mean, there's a difference between, like, reboots and remasters. And I was curious, what are your guys' thoughts on those as it relates to sort of the appeal of, of retro games? <laughs> um... <laughs> I was about to flame reboots or remasters. Right oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to go. <laughs> well, I think it's I think it's interesting when like if that's like an older game and you're like, well, now we can make it you know look prettier. I mean, like they've got the new uh, yeah. Skyrim is coming out and stuff like that. So I think that's always good. But again, I think that's when you it depends on what they do with the remasters because some are just straight up graphical <laughs> updates. Yeah. And that's again where you find out like, oh, this game was really fun back in the day, but it doesn't feel the same. But then you have some that are like, all right, well, we know some dynamics have changed in gaming uh, now, so we're going to restructure the game a little bit, still keep it at, at the original state, but restructure it for the current play style. And that's, that's kind of cool, but yeah. yeah. yeah but I'm, I'm, it definitely seems to be a trend of a lot of those popping up, especially now we get a console every two years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about for you, Austin? How about how do remasters fit into the picture for you? I personally, I just like it when they re-release games that I liked as a kid on handhelds. Yeah. So I can play it when uh, I am out and things like that. I mean, I, I don't know if any of you guys play Odin Sphere uh, for the PS2. 
it's kind of a niche game, so I wasn't expecting a big reaction. But uh, it was uh, <laughs> it's it's a game that came out on the PS2, and they recently uh, re I guess it's a remaster. Again, it's kind of confusing. Like I don't really know what the difference. They made some improvements, but uh, it, you know it's 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 on the Vita and PS4 now. So I, I do like just being able to play the old games that you used to like on like consoles that you're actually actively using now. Yeah. Um, but you know I guess personally not. Generally, not all that interested in uh, remasters. I'd rather see a new game, but yeah, you know, it depends on what it is, I suppose. I don't think I don't think remasters are bad. I think it's one of those things where you know when one's a cash grab, you know, yeah, where yeah. it's like, it's like, hey guys, Uncharted Four is coming out soon, so you might want to get the Uncharted collection, <laughs> and you're like. And you're like not mad at it because you're like, oh, you know what? I really didn't buy all three, so because I bought it, I bought the Uncharted collection, thinking yeah, it like, works. yeah, That's why they that do makes it. sense, yeah. you know? I was like, I'll play through one, two, and then three, and get to four, which I didn't. Like, it's just like they got me with the ploy. God of War four is coming. You might want to get God of War <laughs> one, two, three, PSP one and two. Like it's like you know, that that's more of a money ploy to me. But I mean, some yeah. remasters are good or could be good, like. I wouldn't, like, if they wanted to remake um, or remaster, like, Sonic Adventure, oh, I would buy that so <laughs> quick. Oh, my goodness. I'd jump on oh. any new Zelda oh my goodness. remake. I'm just yeah. like, like an I, don't, I, have it, like, I have, like, five different copies of, yeah. like, Ocarina of Time and different consoles. Right? I'll buy the yeah. next one if they do Like the game. way they did Wind Waker for Wii yeah. U. That oh, was I love perfect. that one. Like, that was, that was my, I played Wind Waker on GameCube but lost it, so that was me going back, playing it all the way through again and beating it. Yeah. Same with, uh... And that was actually like a good remaster because they did graphical updates that like looked like they actually right, worked on the right. game. Compared to Twilight Princess, which I'm playing right now, and uh, it's like it looks okay, but it still looks like it belongs on GameCube. It looks like they just the wide in the screen. Yeah, the, <laughs> the textures still aren't good. No, yeah, it's like terrible. really high quality. It's high core quality looking textures. Triangles. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and you know they're triangles, so I don't know. So where's, where's that line, right? Because I feel like at the same time, you know, Wind Waker HD, it's still about you know, it's about dollars and cents, right? I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, they're like, well, yeah. we know people will, you know, yeah, that will. But sometimes buy it gets you. Stuff. Like one of the first ones that I remember was Super Mario All Stars. I was just like, yeah, yeah. yeah. remastered yeah. Mario, which is like now a retro. That's like a retro. And that, remaster. yeah, and I've gotten arguments with people about that because in Super Mario All Stars, you were able to save. And so I've said in, in, in videos before, like, oh yeah, Mario 3 was always tough because you couldn't save on the NES. People are like, yeah, you could. I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> you can't yeah, you save could. on it. Dude, you are five. I was alive when this game came out. I think I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Super just, Mario All-Stars you, you could save, but Super Mario 3, you had to keep that, keep you're that just, in the You're just getting somewhere. comments on your videos, <laughs> yeah. like, Andre, do you even know video games? Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know what, like, a, like good remasters could happen. Like, they, like, there's so many games right now that, like, to me, could get remade. You could make a Mario 64 tomorrow. That thing would sell oh, yeah. so quickly. Oh, my goodness. Or a Parappa the Rapper. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, give me, bring me, first off, yeah. I want Parappa the Rapper 3, but it's not going to happen. I want but, a gritty Parappa, like, like a gangster no, Parappa. here's the thing. I want Parappa the Rapper 3, but it has, like, all, like, or, well, it has, like, old school artists, like that they can afford, and then they get like, and then they get like two new school dudes. Like they get like a, <laughs> they get designer or like Migos, and then yeah. like, <laughs> and like Parappa has to rap all fast and terribly, and he's doing the whole like yeah, but up da up, we rapping the snap, but it's like oh my god, that'd be so tight. Yeah, future. I, I got pipe dreams going on <laughs> right. up here, guys. I'm sorry. Kickstart that. Kickstart that. That'd be so cool. So, but so that's an interesting question you're saying. Like if people's memories, I, I'll give you an example. As I was watching, my wife had never seen Star Wars. Just. She had never seen. I know. I know. Never seen. It came out in 1977. People. Some people have not seen it. <laughs> My wife hasn't seen the original Star Wars. Either. Some. Yeah, people, the original. She can't think. find the original Star Wars. Yeah. So the original. So that's the thing. So I rented it from Netflix. Yeah. And had to explain to her, you know, like the version that you're watching, because we actually started from the beginning. I was like, oh, let's watch one through six, because she hadn't watched any of them. Somehow. Uh -huh. But we did watch a new one. Yeah. And I had to explain to her, it's like, look, there's gonna be parts of this movie that like don't make any sense because they were added later. But that's now her new memory of Star, her only memory yeah. of watching Star Wars. <laughs> it was with all this other like CG stuff from oh, no. you know, ten years you, ago. You ruined her. Right, right. So now she can't watch like you know one, the first Star Wars her, movie. You showed her Annie. <laughs> <laughs> Anakin? Oh no. But to, you, but it's the same with like four, five, and six, right? Yeah. I remember as a kid, I watched those on yeah. VHS, and they had done some digital effects mastering. Anyway, so to your point, if you're going up and you've played Super Mario Bros. 3, 
but as a Wii, download, Wii U download of Super yeah. Mario Brothers All-Stars. Yeah. Like how, we're starting to get to this place now where you're, people are developing original memories around something that came out 20 years ago, but it's different, you know what I mean? Like it's a different experience. Yeah, no, I was, I was just telling them backstage, one of my best friends, favorite game is Zelda, and they always refer to it as Zelda, and when you hear that, you're thinking 8-bit gold cartridge NES. No, they mean Ocarina of Time. That was what, <laughs> that's that, where it starts. But they always refer to it, my favorite game is Zelda. And they stop. And it's just kind of <laughs> weird to me, because I'm like, no, you're supposed to say Ocarina of Time. Like, keep going. <laughs> like, no, but for them, that was the first one. That was the first console. That was the first game. So that was their memory. And I told them, if I had come up one day and some kid goes, my favorite Zelda or my first Zelda was Wind Waker, I'm like, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's getting to that point. It's like, you, you're, you're, everyone's memory is going to be different. So yeah, like you said, like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because of Force Awakens, you got a lot of people who are into Star Wars now and their experience with the franchise, completely different from the guy who was, you know, yeah. saw it in 77, so it's interesting. Yeah. I mean, Austin, do you feel like part of your role is maybe like educational at some level, right? Like, for yeah. that kid who's like, oh yeah, Zelda starts in the late 90s or I don't, the early I don't think 2000s. people watch my videos for educational reasons, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is kind of fun to like talk about some of the older games just because I, I know a lot, I mean, I have my, my uh, demographics range, but I know I do have some younger people that watch my stuff. So I do enjoy talking about the older Zelda games and I, do, and I will get people that will message me on Twitter and be like, Oh, I played Ocarina. I, you know, I played Ocarina of Time. You know, and it was amazing, and it still lives up to you know today's standards. So that is something that is definitely fun to do. But I don't know if I really do a good job of educating very well. Yeah. <laughs> you, you gotta. I, I could step that up a little bit, maybe. You, you definitely gotta watch out. Like, I mean, the way you showed your wife, like all the movies. It's good to go through the source material because, like, if you're not, you know, rel you know, if, if if it has no relevance to you, then it kind of. Show, I mean, it, I mean, to people who grew up with it, they'll hate you for not knowing. Like I played, I played Mario Maker, right? Because uh, I got it. I, I, you know, I worked with Nintendo and got it early and whatnot, and made a video way before like any Mario Makers were popular on YouTube. So, <laughs> it, it like the video did well, but like I got like berated in the comments because I didn't know the difference between certain Mario games, only because I didn't grow up on Nintendo as much as I did Sega. Right. Like, I had my best friend, he was the one who had Nintendo. I would go to his house to, like, watch him play games or play games with him, but I never really kept the knowledge. Like, I would go home and I would know all the Sega games. I would know, like, Altered Beast and, uh, you know, Sonic and all, and, like, Streets of Rage oh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and all these other games yeah. and whatnot. And then going to his house, I would know, like, you know, Super Mario and all this other stuff, and we would play, like, the Power Rangers games and stuff. But, like... I think I got like destroyed in the comments for calling like, I think Mario 3, uh, Mario 1 or Super Mario or something. I called one of them the wrong thing. <laughs> you know, I was just, I was just trying to have an experience. I was, yeah. trying, I was just trying to play a video game on my gaming channel. And like, I'm Dude, talking how about, how I'm talking about the first, how first day. Oh my God. People are like, why do they, <laughs> like, they were flaming me. They were just like, why would they even give this guy this game? He knows nothing about the source material. He's terrible. <laughs> I was like, can I, can I just play the video game and enjoy it and have fun? I wonder like, if some of that They is, hated me for it. I wonder if some of that is, is like, they just, they just maybe a little jealous, I guess. I know I, I got Pokemon Tournament early, and I got just, so many people were so mad about that. They're like, you don't even know the combos. Yeah. He's not even out yet. Yeah. Like, literally, <laughs> yeah, that's They're the like, thing. you can play it for 30 minutes. That's yeah. it. And I was like, well, that's all I could do. Yeah, so. and you can only yeah. show what you're capable of, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, don't, <laughs> you don't mess with people's nostalgia, man. They don't like that, dude. You know? To be fair, though, Super Mario Maker is confusing because you're playing, like, different levels and jumping between. And so you're yeah. jumping between, like, yeah. you know, it's Mario 3, original Mario, Mario World. And so it's like, even, like, I grew up playing a lot of those games. And even I get confused as I'm playing it, because I'm like, wait, wait, which Mario am I playing again? Like, what are the different, like, because there's like weird little mechanics that change. Yeah. There's also differences in that they change just for the Mario Maker games. Yeah. So it is kind of confusing. I mean, I, yeah. I, wouldn't let them, I wouldn't let them get, yeah, I there's some I of the it, characters though. that weren't available, like Bowser Jr. You can now be yeah. in Super Mario Bros. Yeah. He's never there. I mean, I mean, that's the same with like anybody who's like, I don't know, a comic, bur uh, excuse me, comic book nerd. And like you hear someone give a review of a comic, but they're na naming the character wrong the whole time. Yeah. You know, like I've seen like uh, somebody review like uh, Avengers, and they kept saying like uh, Thanos, 
Thanos. I can't, I love Thanos. <laughs> oh my God, Thanos and the uh, Infinity Gauntlet? Can't wait for Thanos to come. And it's like, you know, you're hearing that and you're like, ah, stop it. What are People you doing? People get mad at like mispronouncing <laughs> Zelda names and there's not even voice acting in the game. Yeah. You know, I'll be like, Deku, Deku. It's like you say yeah, it the yeah, way yeah. they don't say it. They're so mad. And I'm like, there's the, not even voice acting. Like, you don't know yeah, what they're supposed the to be like. Tree. It's Deku. It's Deku. Stop it. Or whatever. <laughs> I, I probably yeah, messed it up. You know, it's, that's it's, the thing. It's kind yeah. of funny, though. Like, I, I enjoy, like, seeing those, like, arguments. That's part of the fun of just, like, yeah. you know. Oh, no. People... <laughs> I messed up. Uh, for, I was playing Twilight Princess on my channel. I messed up Midna's name. Midna, yeah. I kept oh. calling her. I kept calling her Minda. Because <laughs> I, I, hadn't, I hadn't played it for, like, I, I played that game my first run like my last year of high school when I was like 18, like that's 10 years ago. So I was sitting back, I was sitting back like, oh man, huh. Minda up to that crazy stuff. Yeah. And like people in the comments are like, if you don't, if you don't call it the right thing, I will stop watching your channel and unsubscribe. And the worst like, thing about it, the worst thing about it is you record like 10 episodes at once oh, yeah. and you start uploading oh, yeah. and you read those first comments like, oh no, I made that mistake yeah. and I'm gonna keep making it for like, like 10 did, more episodes. Yeah, you did 10 episodes straight where you're just ruining the game and like they're like every episode they're commenting and it's like guys I don't think you know that I played for an hour and I'm editing all these into different parts and they're like no you will understand our pain I'm like my bad oops and you go through all that and then you go to E3 and you still people here at the Nintendo booth going man Zelda can jump in this game Zelda is awesome in this game I'm playing as Zelda right now hey man that, I, that was me that was me no because I my like my like I said my buddy had all the Nintendo games so I watched him play Ocarina at his house I never I never really played it at right. all I kind of just watched him play it same with like Metal Gear I didn't get a chance to play them until later because I was the one who was just like sitting back they were like one player games you just hung out and watched yeah and I, I used to be like yo man Hey, hey, man, I like the way Zelda swings that sword, man. It's tight, man. It's cool. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, my boy would be like, yo, pause. That's Link. I'm going to need you to chill out, all right? Don't come in my house and call him the wrong name. Don't ever do that, all right? And that's Tingle. That's his homie Tingle. Don't do this to me right now. I'm like, People right, take dog. it seriously. They, they, yeah. they really love And then I'll be like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get a juice box, all right? I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I swear. Um, you know, it's, it, it's funny. I want... I wonder this about like comic books. So, so for example, it, this is a totally off the side reference. When uh, you know soap operas, like some of the soap operas are some of the longest running forms of consecutive media on the planet, right? Soap operas have been around for as long. They started as radio dramas, and some of the stories, because the characters don't age, are literally like 70, 75 years old. And so when they bring new soap opera writers in, they have to hire consultants to basically like bring them up to speed. It's like, oh, just so you know in year 75. Here's something that happened 30 years ago before you were even, you know, even born. And I wonder, I mean, with games, as if we're, we're clearly, you know, reboots, remasters, these things aren't going to go away. Do you think we're going to be more forgiving of, like, mistaking Zelda for Link or no. saying Minda? <laughs> no. No. As long as Is that wish on my part? Somewhere, somewhere there will never be a change. It's like Fight Club, <laughs> man. You don't talk about that. You don't mess up, you don't mess up Link's name. Yes. <laughs> as long as your avatar can be an egg or that blue dude, yeah. there will always be some negative yeah, expectation yeah. going forward is that you that, need to know everything about every game that's And you don't mispronounce made. it, man. Like, I, like, uh, I got friends who, uh, print, you know, you know DJ Khaled, right, on Snapchat? He calls himself DJ Khaled. I got like a friend who's like, I think of the same heritage, who was like, it should be like DJ Khalid or something. Yeah. And I was like, hey man, shut that up, dude. <laughs> like, I was like, that's DJ Khaled, dog. Like, he calls himself that, you call him that, you know? <laughs> like, you're not, you know, I don't know, it's just whatever. <laughs> oh no, my absolute favorite is, L Lara Croft, Lara. Oh, Lara, Lara. Yeah, yo, I didn't know that. I'm not gonna everyone, lie. I've, I've been calling her Laura for everyone. Everyone has an argument how it's said, and every person says it differently. Right, <laughs> Lara. I didn't even know she was British. I was like, wait, I was talking about Angelina Jolie's not British. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I swear, Lara Croft. Yeah, the new ones they call her Lara, and she's. She's been British, is that just her thing? I think, but you know what? She's gotta be British, cause I forgot, she always had like that British money. She was always yeah. like living, like, I don't know if you played Tomb Raider back on like PS1 or PS2. The only thing I did in that game, I never played the story mode. I would just go into tutorial mode where you could run around her house yeah. and I would just do swan dives off the top balcony. <laughs> just because I thought it was funny. I, I thought I would thought it'd be funny cause I was like, I'm sure she can like land safely eventually. So I just kept trying to see if I could break the game and like, help her like swan dive, forward tumble, and land. But 
Nah, it kept giving me game overs. I don't know. Side tangent, my bad. Like, I used to do me. stuff like that in Mario 64. I'd just go to the levels that had the shells and just like try to do like cool tricks with them and like just right? skate around and like. <laughs> you just go, you just go shell surfing. In yeah, that's, I, I literally just, I just for fun. shell surfing and I would just you go know? To, You'd like, have tiny, the game for three tiny months. Tiny Huge Island is what it's called, right? Tiny, tiny Huge Island? Yeah. That, was a, that was a good one where you can like do like cool like flips off the walls and uh -huh. get up to the top of the mountain. You would, and, like, yeah, it would be like down. Mario Parkour. Like, you know, yeah. and then you create a new community and whatnot. Right, yeah, Mario. 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 <laughs> hey, that's 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 a good idea. They should get on. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think some of this stuff is, you know, I, I think some of this stuff is just growing pains for games, like as a medium. You know, it's pretty, it's really young. You know, it's only 30, 40 years old. Yeah. I think what we're starting to see is that people, because this exists for like Doctor Who and like other fan communities, other mediums. People have opinions about their favorite James Bond, right? Like, who's the best like James Bond? People, <laughs> yeah. Their answers, you know, there's obviously the worst James Bond. Everybody knows who that who, is. Who? <laughs> it's who? Roger. Roger Moore. Wait, which one? Oh, Roger Moore. I thought, yo, I was. I thought you were gonna say. Pierce Brosnan's uh, pretty bad too. But. Pier you don't like Pierce Brosnan? <sighs> Boy, y'all tripping. He's the best. <laughs> You're tripping. He he looked to me like I mean that's what I grew up on. Like, but he, when I think <laughs> that's why that's <laughs> like, when, I, when I think James Bond. I mean I understand that I feel like you know Sean Connery and all them. They're all cool, or whatever. But Pierce Brosnan, like there's people who look like certain people. He looks like James Bond. He looks like Batman too. He could have been Batman. <laughs> if you would have given me Pierce Brosnan with uh, Kevin Con Conroy, I think, his voice, the guy, oh, who, yeah, the guy yeah, who did the Batman. Give me his voice. That's Batman. Get out of here. Like in your, in your you head. Guys know, they don't know anything up here, guys. I feel like I'm the most intelligent guy here, so let me just keep talking. I'm scared. Right, but that's the thing. See, Pierce Brosnan was the first James Bond to like to steal your heart. You I'm telling he was. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. I, I can't see Pierce Brosnan as anything but in just the guy missed out fire. Like. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's why he can't get any other roles, man, because like. I, I think I played Goldeneye more than watched Bond movies. So. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I think Carl, yeah, myself included. I, I played it, that man. game. That's all that is. Pierce Brosnan looks good in the N64 game. Yeah. <laughs> just get that like pan down and get that like. He's the only sweet, only like... one who got a game made after. <laughs> only one. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but for all the stuff we were talking about, like the mistakes and whatever, I was like, but lots of the old games did right. I mean, like one of the things that that still kills me to this day is that you got a lot of games today that know they're broken. <laughs> but they're just like, well, we got a release date, put it out there, and yeah, then we'll just release a day one patch. We'll just upload this stuff, and it's like a cartridge couldn't do that. It's yeah, like, you had to oh, be no. right <laughs> when it <you> came <laughs> out. There's no <laughs> load it right away. That was it. Cartridge game, cartridge games were bugged from the jump <laughs> because yeah. if it's you like, had to like <laughs> yeah. blow into that thing, that's not a good. That, I mean, it's a good game, but at the same time, it's not ready for yeah. shelves. Yeah, yeah. It's just. It's like you guys want to play this, right? So that's that's what you get. I mean, that's a re that is a really good point, though, right? It's like something shipped, and then that was it. It was like it was yeah. like etched it in plastic. You could not recall them. You could dump them in the desert if you <laughs> wanted to, but that's really about like, like ET. Yeah. Um, but that was really like about that was really about it. It does seem to place yeah. a very unique burden on older game designers, and that like this is your one shot. Like you don't get there's no do overs. That's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No yeah. Nintendo was really hardcore with you know that seal of quality. They were really hard about making sure that I mean some <laughs> still slipped through the cracks, but yeah. that your game was a quality product because they didn't want right. to re redo what happened with the '80s with the gaming crash where you just had all these just bad games just out there. Out yeah. yeah. No. No. No, no, uh, no refunds. No season passes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, you mail it back to us and we'll mail you a new cartridge. That's hey guys, you're getting this season pass for uh, Snowboard Kids too. This is coming. Yeah. <laughs> Kids, yeah. That's a game they need a remaster too. Snowboard kids? Oh, you guys are not old enough to understand my pain. <laughs> I, I just turned snowboard. 28, by the way. Today is my birthday, so. Oh, well, happy, happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> birthday applause break. Sorry, I didn't mean to take that. <laughs> it's your birthday too? Double happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. 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 Any other any other birthdays that There's we should know about? Lights on us now. What? Because <laughs> it's our birthday. They're like, yeah, turn up the lights. <laughs> hey, who, whose birthday is it? We got one more birthday over here. Any I, heard it, I heard it. Don't be shy. We got a birthday in the back over there. Nice. Hey. Hey, there we go. I think she said sing happy birthday. I don't happy. think you want to hear us right, sing, right. though. It's happy problem. birthday to you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. We'll, we'll get copyright to you, everybody. <laughs> happy birthday. You get a free copy of Jet Force Gemini for N64. <laughs> like, that's another game that, oh my god, that oh, game would be so good right now. You mentioned Snowboard Kids, too. Speaking of games living up, 
I had never played that game when I was a kid. I recently played it, and I loved it. It was yeah. great. Snowboard Kids was, oh, it's beyond its time. Oh, my goodness. But now they ruined it. It's like on a game, or what do you call it, 3DS? And they made the kids look like real kids. No, they, don't, they didn't no, make them. They no, didn't no. make them look like the big nose freaks big that nose were in that, uh, <laughs> that yeah. first game. Oh my god! Why do that? Oh. Why so you, do that? So I was gonna ask you: Do you think that we'll still keep using the term retro going forward? Man, do you think I, that's just a moment in time right now, right? Because I mean, I think that the Super Mario All Stars is a great example. I didn't think of that game as being like a retro. I was like, oh, it's just like a new, it's a new game that came out. Yeah. Do you think the term retro? is going to go away. It's going to be a thing where it's like, oh yeah, there's just game, old games and new games. <laughs> yeah. It'll it probably might. change over time. Like, I mean, you ask somebody, I mean, you know, me and Andre aren't that far apart in age, but even like the kinds of games that he played as a kid versus the kinds of games, I mean, we played a lot of the same games, I'm sure. But like, I mean, I think retro and I think, you know, in 64, but to a lot of people, it was, you know, NES, and then it was Atari, so, yeah. I mean, I, if anything, I think just retro games will just keep expanding because, you know, I mean, we'll, eventually we'll look back, and man, those Wii games were so great, uh, <laughs> those waggled in the I don't, Hey, games. man, I don't want to think about that, man, I just, I just turned 20, I don't want to think about getting older, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have to call, like, you saying N64 is retro, boy, that was revolutionary on Christmas Day. <laughs> Christmas Day, opening that thing, I was like, what is this? Yeah. Dreamcast? When like when I played when I played Ready to Rumble Boxing, oh my god, I thought yeah, I, I was I thought up. I was in the future. <laughs> I thought I was in the future. I took that system to my cousin's house and I was like, yo, like as if <laughs> I was over there like, yo, I got that fire, dog. Like you yeah, trying yeah. to play this today? I was like, oh. And that yeah. like and looking back at it, oh, it's disgusting. Yeah. But like playing Marvel I guess versus that's just, Capcom that's just technology. Like, this, this Dreamcast is gonna last forever. I thought that was HD to me. That was yeah. 4K gaming. That's what that was. Oh, that was man. amazing. Can we? Uh, oh, we're old. Can, should we take questions? Should yeah. We, can we do? Is yeah, there? Is there? Do we have a mic sad. in the back? Oh, we are we using the, They gave us a hashtag. Are we doing that? Or we want to just take? Oh, yeah, hashtag, hashtag old school VidCon. Oh, uh, okay. We can we up to speed. Old school. <laughs> I mean, we could probably just hear the questions <laughs> yeah. and repeat them. That's true. All right. Right. Well, in the interim, while I mean, looking up questions I mean, from I mean, the audience. Man, yeah. Screw this technology. We got real people, yeah, real lives out here. Let's connect with these guys. Do we Rebels. Have, we don't oh, have, so so unless, we have unless a we're live streaming. We my bad. My bad. I didn't mean that. I didn't oh, mean that. Live <laughs> streaming. My bad. We love you guys at home. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Guys. <laughs> That's fine. That's totally fine. Um, let's see. All right. You right there in the front. I'll repeat the question for those at home. Favorite arcade game. Favorite arcade game. Question is favorite arcade game. I. Uh, th this Ooh, might surprise some people because I'm not. I, I'm not like. Into super into sports or anything, but NFL Blitz is That's so good. much fun. <laughs> so it's a good, fun. Yeah. It's a good Blitz. choice. You I'm, never tried to get points in that game. It was like, yo, I'm about to just take out your QB, dog. Like, yo, you know what's crazy? NFL Blitz is that that was sanctioned by the NFL. They're like, oh yeah, it'd be a great idea for us to oh, put yeah, out a game yeah. with people actively getting concussions in it and put our name on it. It's like <laughs> that you could, after the whistle is blown, like yeah, knock the body out. Yeah, 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 that's good for our, brand. Game, that's right? really good for our brand. good for our brand here. Yeah. Oh, we got we got a mic. Thank you very much. All right. We got a mic. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Wait, wait, we didn't. Answer oh, we got we didn't answer. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think uh, I'm going back to Cubert again. Cubert. Yeah. <laughs> Just because you can't, you couldn't replicate that diagonal. I remember playing Cubert on the NES, and I couldn't stand it because it was like left and, and down. Is I know diagonal, but yeah. And then Miss Pac-Man, I played a lot. Street Fighter Two. Street Fighter Two was in my grocery store <laughs> as a kid. So I used to every time oh, I, I always want to go grocery shopping with my mom. Just yeah, you played Street a lot Fighter Two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Um. <laughs> Wait, we're talking about like, ar like arcade arcade, cabinet, arcade yeah, like games. There's so many good ones. You gotta pick one. Though. I'm gonna just a okay. Was was the X Men one called Children of the Atom? Uh, no, 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 but there's X Men arcade. Like what's the six what's player just X Men arcade? Yeah, it was X Men arcade. X Men arcade. Oh. The the Simpsons arcade game. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Turtles. Yeah, a good oh one. my God. The Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles arcade Turtles, game. Turtles and Time. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Turtles and Time and arcade was classic. Yeah. I, used to, I used to love um, going to CC's because they had the Simpsons arcade game and I would just get, get as much as many quarters as my mom games. would give me. Yeah. That game was so hard to beat. I remember I went to summer camp and we had we were trying to beat <laughs> that game with because we had like a chance to go to the, our local arcade on breaks between summer camp or it'd be like the end of the day activity. I'm like guys. We've been we've been at this for three weeks. We gotta beat this game this time. Like we had like one hour. I was like, I'm Bart. You're Homer. Simpson. You know, like it was. Yeah. 
That's it, a good one. It's funny with those old games. I like, remember as a kid, like you only got like a dollar or whatever. Yeah. And now being older, it's like oh, I'll put five dollars into this. Oh, that's <laughs> not, that's yeah. not like I'll a blow big deal. Twenty-five that's on that game, <laughs> and then I'm you a, run I'm out of that five, and then you just keep. Yeah, yeah well, it's like, like, that's right. This is another quarter. I, uh, I go to Vegas. People usually go to Vegas to gamble. I go to the. There's a place called the Pinball Hall of Fame, uh, and I just I straight like twenty dollars uh, yeah. at least. Just playing right. old pinball and early. On that note, yeah, my, my favorite arcade game is the first Star Wars, the very first Star Wars okay. with the like vector, yeah. Vectrex graphics. It's incredible. Yeah. Um, and then FIFA 94 for pinball. Okay. <laughs> Wait, favorite which one? pinball game. Oh, it's a, it's a pinball? Time. I don't want to stick on this question too long, but I don't think any of you guys know this. Do you guys have you guys ever played this game? It's not an arcade cabinet, but it was at like it was at like arcades and gaming places. It was called Top Skater. It was this game. Oh yeah, yeah. It yeah, was with the actual game. Yeah, the like it was it was VR jump before on the VR, board. baby. It was uh, like there was a skateboard oh, and yeah, like two rails, and you would like stand on it, and you would like just you would just like smash the back of the skateboard <laughs> to get like to get all kinds of tricks. Like this yeah. is like that's not a trick, but you would do like backflips, make twists. You would be like doing Christ airs. I was like, oh, this game's amazing. Yeah, all right. had, uh, Pennywise, Pennywise soundtrack, it was great. All right, yeah. let's see. We should see. get another question. All right, we got, we'll take one from, we'll take an online one. Uh, um, do we still have the microphone? Oh, we, no, wait, I, we have one from online here. Oh, online. Oh. Here we got um, from uh, Tasha at VidCon, at desolation underscore nerd, asks, are there any game soundtracks that make you nostalgic? I already sang them all. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I actually, I actually used to own. Well, I, I, I play the Smash Brothers soundtrack in my car, I'm but I actually you. used to own the, uh, uh, the Super Mario 64 soundtrack, and I remember walking around with my Walkman in college. <laughs> Everyone was listening to their gangster rap music. I'm all like, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I love listening to that. I don't know, Austin. You got any? Anything Zelda, Mario, really? Yeah. Pretty simple. Uh, mine, mine, like you said, in your Walkman, bro, I had the Halo 2 theme song on my <laughs> iPod. For yeah. When I was in class and I was like getting ready to take a test, I was like, and I was like, yo, that one and uh, Mega Man. Uh, oh, Mega Man. Oh. <laughs> I, I oh, say Streets of Rage 2, that, the house soundtrack yeah. on that is... That Boy, is I, wa I wanted to be Skate. That or, or, <laughs> was it Skate or Blade? I forget. No, I, is it Blade? Anybody know? It's Skate. I is think it it's Skate. I think his name's Skate or Skates or Blade. With a, with a Z? I don't remember. Yeah, I just wanted, I wanted to be the little black kid with the rollerblades. Roller that was me. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I want to be yes, here for Halloween. Hopefully like, this Halloween <laughs> I can pull it off. I need red blades. Anybody got red blades, let me borrow them. Cause. All right, question from the, from the crowd, right there on the side. The, with the black shirt. Oh, uh, oh, other black shirt, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, was it a struggle for, your, for you to let your parents play the games? Because I know it's a struggle. It was hard for me to let my parents start letting me play games. So was it hard for you to let your parents to let you start playing games? Oh, let's start playing. What? Games? So like you're saying, like was it hard to let my to get my parents to approve of me playing video? Yes. Oh. oh. Um. I mean, a little bit, I guess. My parents made me do sports, like you know, regardless. Like I was yeah. terrible at sports up until like. Uh, 13 years old, but I had to play them regardless. My mom was like, you gotta take a, you gotta take a sports class. Like, I won't let you not, I don't know, run around. Um, but yeah, cause like my best friend, his parents didn't care. Like, he, like growing up, he like had the life. Like he would get every single Power Rangers toy at like Christmas. <laughs> he had every video game system. Everyone's got that Like, kid like anyone, 2001 yeah. Christmas, he got Xbox and GameCube. I didn't what? get either. What? I didn't get either. Like that's how I got introduced to Halo yeah. and Smash Brothers in the same day. Like, yeah. oh, no, 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 we had uh, N64 Smash, but I got introduced into Melee yeah. on, at his house. I was like, yo man, hey, my Christmas is whack. I'm coming to your house. Like I went to his house. And he's always a jerk, you hate him, but you still gotta be nice and be I friends hated, with him. I hated that he had everything, but he's my best friend. I've known him forever, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I mean, I feel like it was one of those things where like, especially, especially depending on what you're doing, like if you don't show promise in any other thing and like video games is something you actually thrive at, hopefully your parents support it and they're not like, you know, what are you doing playing those games again? Uh, I told you, you know? So, you know, hopefully they support it. You, I think you should, obviously get a lot of other activities going in your life, like be social, meet people, talk, hang out, I don't know, do a sport just for fun, go swimming, I don't know, baseball, whatever your kids do nowadays. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, no. My parents were pretty cool about letting me play, but it was just like, it was like I had to do certain things in order to play, like get good grades, you get a new video yeah. game, you know, keep up with your studies, you can have like an hour to play before bedtime or something, you know? So, yeah, yeah I think, you know. Yeah, my parents hard. were cool when we played video games, it's just they weren't cool with buying the video games. It was like oh, $50! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, luckily there was this beautiful place back in the day called Blockbuster Video. Yeah, where you yeah. Could, uh, <laughs> the poor, poor one, <laughs> poor we're, one, we're old. one out yeah, <laughs> They pull one for the home. Hard to say goodbye. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so I used to rent a lot of games, and then that was weird too. Like I always tell people, like as much as I love old school video games, I probably played some of the worst NES games imaginable because you would go on the weekend and rent a video game, and all the good stuff would be taken. Coolest box art. Yeah, yeah. So you had to yeah. get like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the game. Or <laughs> Why? Any, you know, all the LGN classics, Bebe's Kids on Super hey, Nintendo. Hey, 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 Bebe's Kids was a classic, man. A classic piece of crap on Super Nintendo. The, you know, the movie I love. Sometimes but. you got lucky, though, and like, because your game wouldn't be available for yeah. rent or the console, you'd get like a gem on accident. Like, I got Looney Tunes Basketball. That yes! Game is <laughs> that game Tiny is Tunes amazing. That yes. game, or Tiny Toons Adventures, the yeah. video game. That was that was yeah. a classic. Y'all too, y'all too young. Y'all don't yeah. get it. But then you would get, get something like Zelda Two, and you got to play it in 24 hours. Right. You're just like this is not gonna. Happen. <laughs> you had like the timer because you could rent. This is for I, oh I don't know goodness. who remembers. You could rent a game console from Blockbuster, and you get like a two and a half day rental. Boy. And it would basically be that your parents would be there like trying to unplug it. As like you're trying to like finish up yeah. the last, like hey, the your last. Your parents are better than mine. My parents forgot we had to return them, and then, <laughs> and then it would go, and then it would go way too long. So then we owe a fee like, that's, that's more than the game. That's five hundred dollars. So my mom was like, I mean, I mean, we could keep it, and I'm like, yeah, this. It's like I'm not paying more than six. Gran Turismo's mine. <laughs> How about with you, with your parents? Yeah, I didn't have too many problems with it. I mean, when I was young, I was. Uh, really shy, and I was very well behaved. So, my, I mean, I, I, kind of like Andre, I didn't get a lot of games, but my parents were like, if I, I was always good. It's like, oh, Christmas, they'd give me Mario 64 or whatever. Or I got Mario Party 2 one time because I didn't fail all my classes in elementary <laughs> school. So, yeah, I mean, I never really had too much of a problem with it. I, I also played soccer growing up, so I, I got my exercise in and all that stuff. So, I didn't really have too much of a problem. Cool. That's cool. All right, I think we have time for one more, one Quest, more question. Question. One more question. Let's, you guys, you guys pick. I'll let you guys pick. tell me what you think about she's, me. She's very she, she's dun, dun, excited. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, she the one black, black shirt, glasses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 fifty fifty in relationships. Question. Tell me about the dollars that I bought. Dun, dun, dun. Hi. Um. Oh, that was really loud. Uh, if you're familiar with Shadow of the Colossus, what is your favorite Colossus and why? That's all, y'all. You know what? That's a game I never got a chance to play. Uh, I'm looking play? forward to The Last Guardian, but I haven't played Shadow of the Colossus. Did you play? Uh, that's all I, I played it. Um, I love Shadow of the Colossus. I'm trying. I don't remember all of them, but I remember the one that flew in the air, yeah, in like one. in the sand area. He was, and you had to like shoot the bow to like hit his little like butt or whatever. Like he had like little things on him. I. It, it's been too long. I need to replay that game. I did play all the way through it, but yeah, the guy who flew. Around in the sand. That was, and also the guy who was in the sand, the one that like came out of the sand. That was a cool one too. You riding around on your horse, like he's coming out and like eating you. That was a cool one. Yeah, that's good. The uh, only I one I, the one with the big uh, mine was the one with the guy. He had like a big club. Oh yeah, and you and climb you had to, up like, it. Get on, like, like sort of get on the club. Yeah, that was a, that was a relatively you see early really one. But... You're really far away. You're like oh, I gotta fight this dude. All right. Yeah, that was like one of the first ones where you're just like, okay, this game is is crazy. If yeah. any of y'all have not played Shadow of the Classes, so good. Like, I, and I. Coming from a Zelda fan, I was like, there's no enemies in the game. That's stupid. I don't know what that is. And then I played it. I was like, oh, man. Yeah, it was it's amazing. A, it's a classic. I guess we, did, we have time for one more bonus question. question. Yeah, question. Bonus, for a bonus we question. We got time for one more. The bonus question. Uh, one are we picking up? Mike from the front row. Let's Blue hair right there. Yeah, yeah. Microphone. There's, there's a mic. Worst game you guys have ever played. <laughs> Right, worst game? game? Worst. Y'all go. I, I'm trying to think. There's so many. <laughs> Hubert the Teddy Bear Winter Games for the Wii. <laughs> worst game? Uh, uh, Bebe's Kids. Stop is it, it, man. <laughs> the movie game. is great, but the game is terrible. Uh, <laughs> so was it, stop, wasn't it, it was also an animated... Wait, wasn't the game was based on the animated TV show? 
No. Okay. Oh, no. But, oh, yeah, yeah. They did get a TV show for a short time. Yeah. But they had a movie, and then I think, yeah, that's how it got. It's a good game, guys. Leave it alone. <laughs> None of these kids <laughs> like, know baby's about? kids, okay? Well, they we are, learn. We're literally talking about the prehistoric age right now. Yeah. Um, no, but that was the thing. Like, any game that was ba like, nowadays, you're like, oh, we got Arkham and all that. Yeah. Awesome. But, like, back in the day, if a, if a game was based on a movie or TV show, it was almost instant. Like, baby's was the original Arkham Knight, man. Stop hating. <laughs> It was so good, dude. On PC, <laughs> it was it was it was up there with uh, Ren and Stimpy, the game, which was so hard. Uh, I, I played that. Worst game Idiot. ever. I don't know. I don't. A wor I don't. I don't. I'm trying to think of a game that genuinely like, but I don't know. It's not a game I get frustrated with. It's just a game I think is trash. I don't know. There's so many trash games. I have so much so much hate like welling with inside of you. I don't know. I can't think. I can't think very specifically. Oh, oh, yo, there was this game on the N64. I think it was called Goemon or something. I've heard of that. Remember that? Okay, yeah. it was some weird Japanese Didn't it have like an afro? Yeah, 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 he had like a weird afro and like it made no sense. It was, <laughs> that's probably the worst game, dude. Oh, yeah. You guys don't know it. That's Superman why it's so 64, bad. that's another one. Superman? Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, I played that. Yeah, I, I, Hubert's I worse. That. Hubert's oh. worse. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, I don't know. Mine was like Akari Warriors for the NES. Yeah. It was like, like no lives and it just the first level <laughs> is easily 45 minutes to an hour of you just like walking and just shooting things. I, it's. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I played that game. Yeah. It's. Uh, I turned it off pretty quickly. That was a blockbuster rental that gone. <laughs> it's like, well, this is what you have all weekend, this terrible game. And then it froze up in the third level. We had to reboot the whole thing. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, well, there's six hours of my life just gone. <laughs> right? Totally gone. All right, well, thank <laughs> you all so much for having us. <laughs> <laughs> round of applause. Whoa. Have any other questions? Check out the hashtag and uh, all right, thanks everyone so much. Thanks. Woo! Thank you for coming, guys. Have fun at VidCon. We play yeah. those old school games.